in September, that might just have been a dream to get an IC705 for Christmas. Sadly, that clearly is not going to happen now as we approach the Christmas season. But I can promise you that it will be available by Christmas 2020. Well, at least I hope I can anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to uh, take a look at the IC705 and see where we are present. Now, the big news for ham radios in the UK is that it will definitely have four meters on it. That's, and that's a great uh, bit of news. Uh, they'll have four meters on it because four meter band is, is, is quite a popular band now. And uh, for normal VHF work or sporadic and so forth, it, it does um, uh, have its uh, very um, close and loyal followers. What it won't have is an internal ATU. Now, I suppose that's a little bit puzzling because the IC703, which was basically the 10 watt version of the 706, did have an internal ATU. Although, of course, I think it, it had limiting uh, matching capabilities. But anyway, it won't have an internal ATU. But I'll we'll come back to that uh, a bit later. The burn in question is when is the IC705 going to be available? And I have to tell you that I don't have a hotline and I don't have an answer. But what I can say is that there are two possibilities. If I was a betting man, I would put my money on two possibilities. The first is that it will be released at the Dayton Ham Convention Show in America in May, mid-May 2020. Now, I think I'd, uh, I'd be inclined to put a bit of money on that, if I was a betting man, of course. Perhaps uh, the outsider would be that it suddenly appears, say, in March or April uh, of next year. I don't think that's that likely, but it's a possibility. I could, of course, be completely wrong. A time will tell. <laughs> Now, the other thing, of course, is what is the price going to be? Well, I don't have a hotline. I really don't have any idea at all. I don't think the UK importers have any idea at all what the price is going to be. It's a bit of a conundrum for ICON because if they get it too high, then they won't sell the volume. And it'll take longer to recoup their development costs. On the other hand, if they get it too low, They'll sell more, but it will still take them longer to recoup their development costs. So I think, ultimately, the price is going to be a price that they think the market will stand without affecting the sales volume. <laughs> Have I answered the question? No, I haven't at all. The answer is, I, I just don't know. I wouldn't even like to place a bet on that one. So uh, I think we'll have to wait and see on that. Well, perhaps we've had a, enough negativity on this video so far. Perhaps we should be looking at things um, that um, <clears throat> we can consider for the IC705, and perhaps a bit of forward planning for the time when the 705 will be available. Now, we are the largest ham radio dealers selling QRP equipment. We've had many years experience with that. Um, the prime sellers are KX2 and KX3 transceivers, which are still the smallest uh, handheld transceivers, and they will be even after the 705. The fact is that we are experiencing QRP. QRP is a fascinating hobby, and when we uh, come into the spring of uh, 2020, um, I, fingers crossed, hope that we shall either see the 705 or at least know when it's going to be introduced. So there are one or two items that I think you could you should consider um, adding to the 705 or at least put it on your shopping list when uh, you finally get your 705. I suppose the most obvious one of course is the ATU. Now my experience of QRP is that Yes, you can operate QRP out in the fields without an ATU, but it is somewhat more difficult because it does depend on you having a resonant antenna. 
And that is not always possible. And if you do have a resonant antenna, it's not always the best antenna. Sometimes you just want to put a bit of wire up or you want to put a dipole up that's not quite on frequency and you really need to just adjust the, uh, the matching so that you get a, a decent VSWR. And do, do, do remember, of course, that uh, with QRP, every, every watt counts, every bit of power counts. So I would strongly recommend the, I, the uh, Ellicraft T1A Auto ATU. It's a lovely little Auto ATU. It runs off an internal PP3 battery. Now, before you say, oh, well, how long is that battery going to last? Well, the good thing about the T1A Auto ATU is that it uses what they call latching relays. So there's only current drawn while it's tuning. Once it's found the resonant point or the matching point, then there is no current drawn at all. So it is actually uh, got effectively a very, very low current drain and the PP3 battery will last you for ages. Connection wise, all you need to do is have a bit of coax into the T1A ATU and on the other end, you put virtually whatever if you like. I mean, the T1A Auto ATU, which covers 160 through to um, six meters, will match virtually anything, any, any bit of wire you put on it, it it'll match. Uh, so it's, it's a great uh, little unit to have with the, T1, with the uh, IC705. It weighs virtually nothing and it's very cost effective. So put that on your shopping list. And if you want to know a bit more about it, then go into our website and read up about it. It's, it's, it's a really nice product. Another item which I think you will, will need to consider is power supply. The um, IC705, of course, will run off of any, any power supply that delivers 12 or 13 volts. Uh, it's just a, a standard uh, ham radio transceiver. But if it's a, a, a QRP radio and a portable radio, then I think it makes sense to think of a, a small power supply that will go with it. A sort of power supply that you can slip in your pocket or into a, into a small bag. And the one that uh, I would recommend is the uh, KX33 made by Pro Audio. Now, we sell lots and lots of those. It was originally designed for the KX2 and KX3, but they've now also produced an uh, adapter lead for the FT817 and the FT818. The good thing about it is it's light, it's small, and above all, it's extremely low noise. You get no problems at all with noise from that power supply. It's, it's a great power supply, and um, I'm sure there will be an adapter lead for the ICOM radio. Uh, when it uh, comes out uh, next year. So put that on your list. Remember the KX33 and of course, once again, go into our website and check it out. It's a great power supply. I use one myself, so it can't be that bad, can it? Now on the question of aerials, we've already spoken um, about the Auto ATU. There is a range of antennas which we're now doing, made by Helicraft, um, which will easily handle up to 30 watts, so there's no problem at all with the IC705. And the antennas are the AX1 range. The basic AX1 antenna covers three bands. It covers 20, 17 and 15 metres. And it's a little tiny um, matching coil with a telescopic whip. When it's fully extended, it's about 1.2, 1.3 metres tall. And you can adjust the resonance of it by just adjusting the whip. It's a great little antenna, and there's also a 40 meter adapter. So check those out on your website. It's the AX1 antenna series. That would be ideal for the IC705 if you're looking for a portal uh, for a, a, um, a resonance antenna. Now, what about VHF? Well, I think for two meters, we've got the perfect answer. The diamond range of VHF Yagis, the two meter Yagi, the five element version, that's incredibly lightweight, so easy to put into a car. The elements just fold in parallel with the boom and it's just a great antenna for portable work. You can put it up in a couple of minutes. Because it's so light, it, it doesn't require much in the way of support. And we have actually, uh, our, we've, we've done a video on it actually, and um, if you look at the bottom of this uh, video, underneath this video, you'll see the link to that uh, video and also the one that I did for the AX1. So 
we've got a lot to offer for the uh, IC705 owner and um, perhaps a Christmas present from us actually. Well, more than a Christmas present because it'll go on for some while. If you have ordered the IC705 from us or you place an order for the IC705, you will get some discount vouchers for the accessories that I've covered. So plan forward, have a look at them, and then when you place your order, we will give you some discount vouchers that you can then spend if you want to add the items that I covered. So how about that? That's not a bad deal, is it? Well, I hope you're enjoying this new video channel from Waters and Stanton. If you are, please remember to press subscribe. So, in the meantime, enjoy your home radio. Thank <laughs> you.